What's up guys, my name is Witty, and this video is going to be a little different than the previous ones because we're not actually going to be doing a guide that focuses on anything really in game. And instead, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to properly use the breeding calculators, including a breeding tree, so you can find out how to best breed whatever pal it is that you're trying to get your hands on. So. I'm gonna drag this over here, and as you can see, we have two tabs open. The first thing we're gonna talk about, and these links will be in the description, is a regular breeding tree. Now, if you have two pals and you're just curious what would happen if you put them together, let's just say you have a Rushor and you have a Lunaris. So you would select these two pals here, and you can see that you would get a Lee's Punk. This is pretty self-explanatory. It's kind of like a plug and go math problem. When you put the two pals in, you're going to see the baby and it's going to be the same every single time. If we were to swap this Lunaris for say a Gobfin, you would instead now get a Lunaris. And this is all just plug and play. You can get an idea of what you would get with the pals that you currently have. The most useful tool on this website is actually this version. So if you just click find all combinations for a pal, let's say you wanted to create an Anubis. Well, as the child, as you can see on the right, it is the child in this case. These are all of the combinations you can use to create Anubis. And so let's say you only have some pretty early on pals. We scroll all the way towards the bottom. Maybe you have a Celeray and a Menesting. Maybe you have a Bushy and a Grintail. Maybe you have a Pen King and a Bushy. Whatever the case may be, you can combine them and create an Anubis. It is very self-explanatory. Now, you can also click this tab here as a parent and you can see everything that Anubis can be used to create. So if you're trying to create, let's say a Rayhound, you can combine an Anubis with the deer, the Terra version, and you will get a Rayhound. If you needed a Ragnarok, you could combine an Anubis with the Grizzbolt and you have a Ragnarok. Now, this is a little bit of a, a long way to do this because you could simply put Ragnarok here and find out the child combinations, but you get the idea. Now, the more important thing, in my opinion, is the use of breeding trees, which they seem very intimidating and complicated at first, but they're really not that bad. So if you use this link in the description, you'll, you'll look at a page like this. And let's just use Anubis as another example. If you're trying to get to Anubis, you will click Anubis. The one with the crown is the, the pal you're ultimately trying to get to. Now. You want to scroll through this list on the left and try to find some combination that you have or that looks pretty easy. So let's say you have a Grizzbolt already on hand, but you haven't seen a Capri yet. That's pretty unlikely, but let's just say that that happened. You would click on Grizzbolt and Capri. Now, those two will be added to the family tree. You have the Grizzbolt, so you don't need to click anything here. But for the Capri, how can we obtain that? If you click on the plus sign, that same type of list will pop up for Capri, and now you can search through and find a combination that you do have. So let's say somehow you haven't found a Capri, but you do have a Rushor and a Rayhound. You would then click the Rushor and the Rayhound, and that is your entire pal tree finished. So starting with a Rayhound and a Rushor, you would create the Capri, and then you would combine your Capri and your Grizzbolt, and you would have an Anubis. And that is pretty much going to do it for this video. I just wanted to quickly run you guys through how to use these breeding calculators and all that fun stuff because a lot of people have a lot of questions about it. Hopefully that was able to help you out and help you understand just how easy it really is. I know it looks intimidating, but it's really not that bad. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.